Hello, everyone. We often get questions about the direction parameter in pair trading, which was introduced in the latest version. Specifically, people ask what it means when this parameter is price-based versus Z-index-based. To illustrate, let's look at Brent. This is the spot price for oil and Brent futures, a futures contract on oil. When the parameter is Z-index-based, we calculate the Z-index. If the Z-index is positive and we have Brent as the numerator, I will show this in our formula. So if Brent is the first in the numerator, we subtract the Brent's futures price from the spot. If the Z-index is positive and exceeds the threshold specified in the program, we'll then sell Brent and buy Brent futures. If the Z index is negative and falls below negative two, we'll buy Brent and sell Brent futures. So if the Z index is negative, we buy Brent and sell Brent futures. And if it's positive, we sell Brent and buy Brent futures. In the case of a price-based direction, we aren't looking just at the size of the Z index. And we aren't just making sure that it's larger than two in absolute value, but we are also comparing the prices of Brent and Brent futures. If Brent's price is higher, we'll sell Brent and buy Brent futures. And if Brent futures price is higher, we'll do the opposite. So not only are we comparing the size of the Z index, as well as the direction of the Z index, we're also comparing the prices of Brent and Brent futures. So this is the main difference between the Z-index-based and price-based direction parameters. However, additionally, in price-based direction, we may encounter situations where a position is affected by a swap. In these cases, we recommend working over shorter periods of time to avoid leaving orders open too long and to minimize your swap fees that have accumulated over time. We hope that helped, uh, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our videos, Please subscribe and like our channel. We'll keep creating more videos for you.